Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Wiki Weekends. I'm your host for this week's episode, Lucas Holland, and I am joined as always by the lovely Carl Smallwood. Thank you! Carl, you know who else is lovely as well as you? Quite a lot of people. Quite a lot of people, but this one is a fictional character and he spends a lot of time in just his brother's shadow. Is this Luigi? We are talking about Luigi, but we're talking about the year of Luigi. Okay, because I was like, Louis, even I don't want to pick Luigi. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be talking about like the year that was the year of the shadow. <laughs> the shadow. Uh, <laughs> so what? Literally Nintendo's worst year financially in like 30 I, I think, years, right? I think it was like the worst financial year they had had since like becoming a video game developer or something like that which is like you know that's not a slight against luigi it's not luigi's fault but it just it's so fitting it's it's very fitting yeah the year the they're fact... celebrating the eternal understudy is the year they do the worst well 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 if it isn't brooklyn's favorite failures the stupid mario brothers the real blame to put on that is the fact that this was like the year where the Wii U had like just started coming out and just dropping off a cliff almost immediately. Thing is though, what's more Luigi than that? Than just oh, trying to just bring back the Wii U with just nothing but the power of Luigi, and it didn't work. Thing is, I love Luigi. Yeah. Luigi is my boy. Like you know, he is the taller, younger awkward brother. That's me! I literally have a <laughs> Luigi tattoo! And I've always preferred Luigi to Mario as well myself, and I've always been the person to, like, try and be player two to be Luigi. Yeah, I was always player two! I am mm -hmm. Luigi! It's me! It's just, it's such a shame that, like, for this little marketing ploy that I guess they had, like, no other ideas of what to do this year for Nintendo. Just, like, fuck it, 30 years of Luigi. Even though he has appeared in so many games, he is still timid after all these years. The thing is that what would you what character from Nintendo's canon would you rather in like fuck it, we're giving him a full year? And why would it be like Captain Falcon? Just the year of Captain Falcon. I was gonna say on a like a less serious note, just a character that's like no one cares about like Alf. The year of Alf. <laughs> Just the year not of Alf. Not even like, not Olimar, Alf. Yeah, not, not the main protagonist of the Pikmin series. Like, one of the, the tritagonists of, like, Pikmin 3. It's what I'm just thinking, though, of. If they had, like, the year of, like, Captain Falcon, imagine, like, the cross-promotion they could have done with, like, F1 or something like that. I mean, what, try and develop F-Zero? No, just, like, no, put in, like, a fucking, like, blue Falcon skin. Or like a, like a big fast car in a race or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'd get at least a year of just cool metal songs. At very least, it was the year of Captain Falcon. Oh, he's so good. He said we just get, let's -a go. <laughs> Even Luigi doesn't want to be Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, just most of the time, instead of like the Mario, like really enthusiastic, let's -a go! It's like, let's -a go! So, should we talk about the fact that Luigi might be the most powerful character in Mario canon? <laughs> like, like, just think Luigi, everyone's thinking, oh, it's Luigi, right? He's like Mario's cowardly younger brother. Like, mm -hmm. Luigi is like low key stronger than Mario. He can jump higher, he can run faster, he can control yep. dark energy. Like, the negative zone is controlled by Luigi. He can fist fight ghosts, and then in Super Smash Bros, a single nonchalant kick is the strongest move in the game. But his down well, His down taunt is incredible, because it just kicks people off like, no, I'm not going to save you, brother. But he puts no effort in, and it's like an instant <laughs> kill on everything in the game. And as well, bear in mind in Super Smash Bros, um, it's the like hidden lore behind the beam sword as well, isn't it? Yes. So do you want to explain how the beam sword works? So the beam sword in Super Smash Bros is just a pick up pick up item that anyone can use, any character in the game can pick up. Yep. And they can like charge up an attack and swing with it. 
and depending on the size of the beam sword that comes out when you fully charge it that is like essentially the potential of that character being shown by how big the sword becomes yes so characters like captain falcon an incredibly strong character has a very powerful swing with the beam sword but a character like i don't know who's the character has a pretty bad one i presume pichu probably has quite a bad one yeah, pichu has a bad one i i think pichu is all right because he has the potential to grow into a pikachu well you know weaker characters overall have a weaker beam sword swing mm-hmm. who was the strongest one in the entire game of course it's luigi which suggests that he has more potential than anyone else on the cast which is shown by his down taunt a nonchalant kick being an instant kill on anyone yeah. who's hanging onto a ledge that's the thing right is like every other character that has ridiculous like one hit kill potential it's massive, like, charge-up attacks and stuff. Luigi, it's like a little kick. He never gets any respect. Even in Smash Bros, when you pick him, the announcer is surprised you picked him. They go, like, Luigi? Like, they say it with a rising <laughs> like inflection. Like, they, they, they're they surprised you're picking him. And he's like, let's go. Because he's tired of combat. <laughs> he knows all combat. The end result is the same. He wins. <laughs> and if he loses, he still wins because he gets to go out. And speaking of the Year of Luigi itself, yes. the Year of Luigi was the 30th anniversary celebration of the fictional character Luigi. He was created by the Japanese video game designer Shigeru Miyamoto for the 1983 game Mario Brothers and has appeared frequently as a minor or supporting character in the Mario franchise since. The fact that they even Wikipedia's dunking on Luigi. Yeah, like, he's a, a minor, minor character. character. In the game where, like, it's called Mario Bros. He's 50% of that. <laughs> he's 50% of the Mario Brothers, and apparently Wikipedia is like, he's a minor character. He's a minor... That's the thing. Have they ever done, like, a Luigi Bros? They have done that, Carl. We, we will get to during the year of Luigi, which was celebrated from uh, Valentine's Day 2013, so February 14th, all the way to March 18th, 2014, so... He even got like a super long year because it was one year, one month and four days. And yeah, it was basically just, oh, hey, we kind of have a few games that are starring or themed around Luigi in some aspect. They're all coming out roughly around like that one year, which also happens to be the 30th anniversary of Luigi himself. So they decided to kind of half arse a year of Luigi where they did a couple of like marketing deals and merchandise stuff and put out a few games that are like tangentially related to one another. The thing is, the more half arsed it is, the more fitting it is of the younger brother. <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, you know, I'm the middle brother of my family. Mm. I get it. My my birthday is a, like a month after Christmas. I remember the half ass birthday celebrations a month after Christmas that I'd get as the as the middle brother. I fully get it. Like Luigi, that's why he's my boy. I am also a middle sibling myself, so it's like I'm not a younger brother to any brothers, but being a middle sibling, you still like you understand that pain. Yes, yeah, so you've got that kinship with Luigi. You understand just the thing of like the let's go. <laughs> I guess it's thirty like, sure. years after I've been introduced, I get one year celebrating me. It's the worst year in existence. Great. Forty years later, I'm still getting called a minor character of the Mario Brothers franchise. That's what they're called the Mario <laughs> Brothers. There's only two of them. We're faster than the Others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Oh. It's me, Mario. And the Luigi. Says here, due to Nintendo's decision to develop Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and Mario and Luigi Dream Team at the same time, they declared 2013 the year of Luigi. According to Mario creator Miyamoto, Nintendo staff members also had the urge to develop games focused on Luigi. So they got forced to... Like, they didn't get forced, they just got strongly encouraged. Just make a game with Luigi in it. It's like, no one likes Luigi. It's like, come on, he's like half a character. Just please, we're making two games and call an entire year. We need help. This was all because they considered the character unrepresented compared to Mario, which, yeah, very much so. That's the thing, like you say, he's half the fucking name, Mario Bros. Mm -hmm. And everyone forgets him. Do you remember as well, like, when the Mario Bros movie came out and there was all those people online of, like, is there a secret third Mario brother? Because (laughs) on the wall behind Mario and Luigi on their pizza shop, it said M for Mario, L for Luigi. And then S for the mysterious third brother. Until someone pointed out it's a pizza shop, small, medium, large, you fucking idiots. <laughs> they just didn't know what small, medium, large was. Is there a third Mario brother whose name begins with an S? No, small, medium, large. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, it's amazing, great. right? Yeah, that's fantastic. And I, I would just love, like, what, Sal? 
Sal is like the third Mario brother that no one knows about. He just doesn't want to get involved. It's like when you find out like Will Smith's got like a third son that he never talks about because he just went to college, played basketball and got a real job. And just yeah. no one ever talks about like this third child that he's got. Oh, it's like when you watch like the Osbournes and Ozzy Osbourne had like a second daughter on the show who didn't want to be on the show. Oh. Do you remember that? No. So the show The Osbournes, it's like folks in their mm-hmm. TVs like Jack and Kelly. If you watch the episodes, there's like a random girl in their house all the time who's like the second daughter who didn't agree to be on the show. Dressed normally, didn't ever like say anything in front of the cameras, but was just there for every episode because <laughs> they couldn't edit around like, it. Because obviously she lived there. Who is this just ghost in the background all the time? Well, 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 like, there's, just, there's just a random woman or random girl in the uh, the episode. I, I I just respect the wanting of privacy. Yeah, but it's just more the fact she's there, and I was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> so that's the undisclosed third Osborne. Yeah, it's just the third Osborne child that no one talks about. That's the thing is. If there was a third Mario brother, imagine being more forgotten than Luigi already. Like, yep. you're in the shadow of the shadow. Well, I was going to mention that because can we talk about Waluigi? <laughs> <laughs> and that amazing shit post about Waluigi being the reflection of a reflection. Because, <laughs> like, do you want to explain who's Wario, Lucas? So, Wario is the bad version of Mario, it literally means like bad Mario. Yeah, and there's like more symbolism and stuff in his name of Wario. There's like a big old explanation of what Wario represents and the backward W, uh, the upside down M and the W representing something in Japanese culture. But just he's bad Mario, right? Like the prefix of like the wa means something to do with like bad or evil in Japanese. Like obviously, you know, I've not researched this. This is just off the top of my head right now. But that's why when you get evil Luigi, it's also wa Luigi. But that's the thing though of Wario is a he was invented to be an inverse of Mario. Mm-hmm. While Luigi wasn't invented to be an inverse of Luigi, was he, Lucas? What was he invented for? <laughs> Do you remember? He was invented for being a tennis partner double to Wario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was like the, one of the Mario tennis games, they realised that when everyone's have a partner, so Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, mm-hmm. Bowser, and one of his minions, and they're like, who's Wario's partner? Oh, just pretend there's another guy called Waluigi. So Waluigi just turned up to play tennis one day and no one knows who he is. <laughs> well, that led to one of the funniest fucking shit posts I think I've ever read. Mm. And it is Waluigi, a perspective. And Lucas, would you allow me to read out the shit post in its entirety right now? You know what? You absolutely go for it while I just take a nice sip of my drink. Waluigi is the ultimate example of the individual shaped by the signifier. Waluigi is a man seen only in mirror images. Lost in a hall of mirrors, he is a reflection of a reflection of a reflection. You start with Mario, the wholesome, all-Italian plumbing Superman. You reflect him to create Luigi. The same thing, but slightly less. You invert Mario to create Wario. Wario turns septic and libertarian. Then you reflect the inversion in the reflection. You create a being who can only exist in reference to others. Waluigi is the true nowhere man. Without the other characters he reflects, inverts and parodies, he has no reason to exist. Waluigi's identity only comes from what and who he isn't. Without a wider frame of reference, he is nothing. He is not his own man. In a world where our identities are shaped by our warped relationships to brands and commerce, we are all Waluigi. (laughs) (laughs) It's just the fact that he is the, the mirror of a mirror of a mirror of a mirror. He is a nothing man. His existence just means nothing. And there's not really anything you can say about Waluigi, and I do want to cover him at some point because well, of like how ridiculous it is. But he is a nothing character. He was invented because Wario needed a tennis partner. But I do love the characterization he gets in some of the sports games, where he just like you know does all the stupid poses with the roses, and he just seemingly talks the most amount of shit. Waluigi, yeah. It's also as well that he's really good at tennis because he's like the tallest character, isn't he? So you can just stand next yeah. to the net and just slap it back and there's nothing you can do. It just reminds me of uh, that video of like two people on Wii Sports getting like closer and closer to the net. And they put JoJo sounds over it of like, try fighting me at this speed. <laughs> Oh, a little stupid shit post like that, but getting back to the year of Luigi, Carl. Yes, tell me more about the year of Luigi. <laughs> no, not the year of Waluigi. Oh, God, it'd be like one day, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's Waluigi Day, that's all he'd get. No, they'll tell you what happened last year. 
<laughs> That's where it'd be Waluigi. It already happened. We just never told you. Didn't you notice like the one sign we put outside Wimbledon celebrating Waluigi? But games released in the year of Luigi include. Um, it says Dark Moon here, but I believe that would be like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, which is Luigi's Mansion Two in a lot of areas. Luigi's Mansion Two HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. I still think they should have just gone and said fuck it and just put him in like Bayonetta. They should have just put him in everything. Do you like when, like, Bayonetta had, like, um, uh, the Peach outfit? They should have just put well, Luigi in as a character. I'm trying to think whether they did give um, Bayonetta a Luigi outfit or not. I think she got a Peach one. She got a Peach, a Samus, and a Link one, didn't she? And a Star Fox one. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't think there was a Luigi one, but there should have been. Let's see, they should just they should have just put him in a random game that made no sense. But yeah, they did put him in, Carl, one that you were maybe referring to, maybe were unaware of, but he did get new Super Luigi U. Ah, okay. We are currently developing a new adventure starring Luigi called New Super Luigi U. Because his brother is not appearing in this game. Brothers is excluded from the title. Which was essentially a expansion pack for the new Super Mario Brothers U. That's right, I think. But it was basically, oh, here's a bunch of levels where the timer's set to like 99 seconds. The levels are a lot more difficult and you have to use Luigi with all like his slidey physics and everything. I was about to say, yeah, did they include the differences in physics? One of the things I love about Luigi is that he controls differently to Mario. In some games, but... Not yeah. all of them, which is more frustrating because I prefer it. So Luigi, I think he, he runs faster. He can jump higher, but he has less friction, right? That's how his gimmick that's, works. That's how it's balanced out is he doesn't have as much control as Mario does. He slides about instead of stopping dead. But he can run faster as a compromise. And jump higher as well, yeah. Yeah. And yet he's the lesser brother. <laughs> he can jump higher and run faster in a series that's all about... momentum better. Yeah, like... That's all about running and jumping and maintaining momentum. He's better suited for saving the day than Mario. And bear in mind how many times when Mario... For example, Mario is missing. Who's there to save him? Luigi. Luigi's Mansion is about rescuing Mario. Realistically, he's the top tier brother. He just doesn't want the fame and adoration. Yeah. And he's just there to pick up Mario's slack whenever Mario gets beaten down. And then I just have like a little bit of info about new Super Luigi U here. Because I was just mm -hmm. double checking, does he have like Luigi's like traditional control scheme? It says here that when one of the directors suggested Luigi be the main character, another director responded, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Even they like, who's Luigi? It's like, he's on your logo! Oh dear. They also did release a Dr. Luigi. So he's also a doctor. Um, Good for him. Got his doctorate. They all got their doctorate. I remember there was like, can't remember exactly what the name was, but there was a Dr. Mario game on mobile. Just every fucker in the Marioverse became a doctor, including, I believe, three Goombas in a trench coat or a lab coat. I trust three Goombas in a trench coat. <laughs> that means they've got three doctorates. That's triple the doctor. You see, you know, or they've got a third of the year's experience each. Like Lucas, I called up like my... GP the other day and said, yeah, I've, like, you know, I've had a persistent cough for like seven weeks now. Mm -hmm. y your website's telling me I need to get medical assistance in some way so I can like, you know, get checked out. When's your next appointment? They told me next month. Oh, great. I would much prefer if there was three doctors I could go see. <laughs> Just each of them with zero arms between them. Don't need arms to look at me and say you're all Just right. Just a little, oh, little mushroom chestnut thing like standing in a lab coat. I'm, I'd, you know what? At least I'd have three doctors at my GP <laughs> instead of one. <laughs> Do you know what? Like that Dr. Luigi game. Do you know they should have done? Do you remember the game Trauma Center? Where it was like the yeah, DS yeah. game where you were, they should have made it like like that because wasn't that oh, a God. weird game where it's the game where you like you've got to use the ds stylus to perform surgery there was them and there was also ones on the wii where you'd had to like use the wii pointer and motion controls and stuff so i still remember that and just being like accidentally just getting like all like real scalpel happy on my patient it's like <laughs> oh no oh no the, the tribunal's coming because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a mode where, like, you activate, like, a super mode. Oh, yeah. And just start cutting them up. Or, like, uh, it might have been just that you heal them up loads super quickly. Yeah. But I just vaguely remember there being, like, press, like, super surgeon button to get, like, just adrenaline mode and just 
scratch away at that screen. To be fair, again, I'd be alright with that doctor, as it means I get to see a doctor. So if you walked in and started fucking Jojo posing on me and pulled a scalpel out and started swinging it around like a jackass, I'm like, well, at least he's a doctor. The only thing I remember about Dr. Luigi specifically was the fact that, you know when you're playing Dr. Mario, there's the two pills. Like, yes. there's one pill, but with two colours. Yes. And there's a left and a right. All of the pills, I believe, were like L-shaped pills instead because <laughs> it was Luigi. That'd be so tough to swallow, right? <laughs> an L-shaped pill. How would you swallow an L? That's, like, awful. Maybe you're not swallowing it, Carl. I get the branding, but fucking hell. It would not go down well. Nintendo released a wide array of Luigi-themed merchandise via Club Nintendo exclusives across the celebration, such as limited collectible pins, coins, soundtrack selection, and an exclusive Nintendo 3DS XL in July. But here's the thing, though. What would you have really wanted? Tell me what you'd actually have wanted, because they always release merch, and it's never what you want. I want, like... Luigi themed lingerie. Is that the My Nintendo Club exclusive lingerie? See, it's never the stuff you want, is it? Oh man, I've just realised that, like, you know, I do have a Luigi hoodie and I, I got it from, like, Nintendo World in Japan. I should have just been wearing that the entire time. Why are video. you not wearing that? Why am I not wearing Like, oh, that's the thing. I'm doing a video about Luigi and forgot to wear my Luigi merchandise. And we do have a quote here from Shigeru Miyamoto in 2013 about this car. Tell me about it. What does Shigeru Miyamoto say about Luigi? Yeah, what does his father have to say on this? Well, Luigi has been one of our characters for many, many years, but we've never really had much in the way of games that Luigi is in the starring role. He's had sort of a more prominent role in the Mario and Luigi series, and there is one of those games coming out this year. But with that game and then Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon coming, we felt it was really this time to make this the year of Luigi. And it's just, fuck it, I guess there's kind of two games coming out with Luigi in them this year. And it's rather than... Like, acknowledge, oh, it's kind of weird how we got two Luigi games. No, make it a thing. One thing I do like here as well is that the company rebranded a Chicago L train yes. and Clark Lake Station with the Year of Luigi and new Super Luigi U promotion and released a parkour-themed mockumentary about Luigi both in August. And I have never seen this parkour-themed mockumentary. You know what, folks? Oh, you're about to see some clips. <laughs> there was no one like him. In the early days... Parkour was just a pastime, but Luigi, the L-Man, he made it into a discipline. I really like as well that the uh, the Chicago L train, it has a picture of the Chicago L train on this Wikipedia page. Okay. But they don't have it of the, the Luigi Lu redesign because no one, got like, a picture no one gave of it. a shit. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> So they've just got a picture of the train, the train. in its regular just greyness. Which it's sums like it up, right? They couldn't even get a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even like an official promo shot from, like, Nintendo themselves. There probably is somewhere, but at very, very least, it's not here on this Wikipedia entry. And one thing that really tickles me here, in March 2013, Nintendo made three Miiverse forums, two about the year of Luigi and one specifically for Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Okay. And this, uh, if anyone's not aware, it was for just, like, it's like Nintendo's weird old like social media esque posting system where you could just post drawings and like essentially comparable to tweets. Which are better on... than Twitter. Yeah, Twitter can fuck up. Like Meverse was the superior social media experience. It really was. And it just was a place to go to a forum about a certain game that you liked or Nintendo topic that you liked and post like dumb things like why can't Metroid crawl? You know what, Lucas? What is your favourite Meverse post that lives in your head, Rent Freaks? Meverse was so good. Like, I'll get right out of the way. The classic, I like this game, my parents fight a lot. <laughs> yeah. Which is the classic <laughs> one, right? There's that and why can't Metroid crawl? Those are the two. <laughs> why can't Metroid crawl is such a strong one. <laughs> and I think my favourite one is, you'll obviously know what I'm going to refer to now, is not necessarily because of the post itself, but just the way that we saw the post. Yes, go on. It was when we were playing Super Smash Bros, we went on the Miiverse stage, and the Miiverse... The best stage is Smash Bros, yeah. Yeah, the Miiverse stage, it was incredible, and essentially what it did is that for every single time that you won on that stage, you could make a post in honour of the character that you won as. So every time that you would then get a KO with that character, other people's posts about that character would then pop up on screen of like, here's loads of cool drawings of Link or Luigi or Mario or something. Yeah, and then that's not what it was used for. 
It was mostly used for shit posts, which made it even funnier. That was the intention. But I just remember one day when Game of Thrones was very popular, we were playing on that Miiverse stage and I just got a Dunker's Ganon and all of a sudden, like a couple of drawings popped up and just in the middle of the screen, just a big thing that just says Jon Snow dies. Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> it's like we just got massive on-screen Game of Thrones spoilers out of nowhere. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. And I think that just will always live in my head as my favourite Miiverse moment of just what dumb can come of this creation. They, they, they Nintendo just didn't anticipate the nonsense. They didn't think about the TTP, Carl. It, and it crapped me up so fucking much. Like, you'd win, get a, a dunk with Donkey Kong, and it's just like, just five posts, look, dong, 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 <laughs> dong, expand, expand, expand. And that is an actual, like, term within um, video game development is... TTP, which just means time to penis, and it's how long, <laughs> how long can something exist, like a creation tool exist, before people figure out how to make it a penis? Yeah, and the best example of that is like one of the, I think it's like Lego Dimensions or something like that, where they had an, a proprietary algorithm that detected someone was making a penis. <laughs> well, the problem was, is like there's a quote from the guy of like, no matter how sophisticated we made the algorithm, people would always find a way to make a penis. <laughs> there was no way to make an algorithm sophisticated enough that could stop people doing this. Because obviously, it's the first thing everybody does. Yeah, it's true. I, I still remember when um, I first started streaming, just day one, Tears of the Kingdom, and you came in and just were like, Lucas, make a penis rocket. It's like, what? It's like, make a penis rocket now. That's for a future time. See you later. <laughs> it's always the first thing you do, right? It was the first thing I did when you came into stream. Carl enters chat and is like, mate, the penis rocket loose. It's the first thing it. you're going to do, right? And the thing is, <laughs> there's just some classic ones like, I've got a few in front of me now, I'm going to send you so you can put me in the background. I'm just like, oh yeah, you get a dunk, you get like a. A rest kill with uh, Jigglypuff Lucas, and look what pops up in the background for you. Just a, 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 you know, an amateur drawing of Jigglypuff who just says, I have crippling depression. They were always the best ones, right? <laughs> God damn it. The Sonic ones, as well. you get a kill with Sonic. It's just 50 gotta go fast memes. <laughs> Unstoppable. Carl, we can just end it here um, yes. on the legacy of the year of Luigi, and we did mentioned this before, but 2013 was an apparent financial failure for Nintendo, losing $457 million in total, primarily due to the poor reception of the Wii U and its games. So it wasn't Luigi's fault, it was the Wii U's fault, but it just so happened to like fall on the year of Luigi. <laughs> However, an internet meme spread in the end of the year that declared Luigi the cause of Nintendo's financial loss. They just, they just can't get a win. Yep. It is so funny that just like the legacy of this year is like <laughs> Luigi just crippled Nintendo financially. <laughs> and obviously, you know, they recovered and the, the Switch came out on Luigi's Mansion 3 is like still to this day one of the best Switch games out there. I'd 100% recommend it to anyone that's got a Switch who hasn't played it. It's also the thing as well of like Nintendo have so much fucking money. Like, we oh, did a fact theme yeah. video in the past of they sold so many Wii's. Someone worked out that they could make a million, a $10 million a year loss for 100 years straight and still have half a billion dollars in the bank. I think nowadays they are like, I think the Japanese company with the most amount of money in reserves or something. Yeah, like they have, it's colloquially referred to as the Nintendo War Chest. Mm hmm. That was a tough year. $557 million loss is a hefty loss. It is, but, but at the same time, think about how much fucking money they have. Miyamoto is essentially just Smaug sitting on that pile of gold and treasure. Like, how much money do you think they've made just from, like, Wii Sports? Well, I mean, technically they gave Wii Sports away in most territories, but that did sell them the Wiis. Yeah. And bear in mind, like, the DS as well, which is only, like, a million units off selling, like, the most amount of game consoles of all time behind the PS2. The DS was out the same time as the Wii and was even more successful than the Wii because just a bunch of people brought it for, if only for, like, brain training. They had a lot of money, so while it does sound... It's like when you hear, like, oh, no, like, Ubisoft lost, like, 40 billion dollars and I was like but they're worth like 185 trillion dollars fuck you obviously that's a big exaggeration there from Carl but you get the point yeah 
of like, yeah, it sounds like a big loss, but when they have billions in the bank, it's not that bad. The year of Luigi didn't ruin them completely. They, they had time to make a Luigi's Mansion 3 and turn it around. It's the thing, if they'd have done like the decade of Luigi, then maybe it'd be a bit bad. <laughs> if they'd have done like the millennium of Luigi. They should do just a sequel to the year of Luigi to try and redeem this story. But I guess everyone in the comments just... Let us know what your favourite Nintendo character would be to get like a year of and just have like multiple games, loads of merchandise. I presume it's got to be like one of the more forgotten characters, I should say, like a Samus or a Captain Falcon, where it's like, given the due they were deserve. I, if they did Year of Samus, like, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I want Year of Samus or Year of Captain Falcon. Just Year of F-Zero. Remember that one time where the best thing that we got from Metroid in multiple years was that Reggie wore a Samus pin at, a, like, the Spike Awards or whatever it was, or the VGAs or whatever? Yeah. And people were losing their mind because a Nintendo executive wore a Metroid pin, and that was the most metroid announcements we got in like three years it's fine because you know what the series will always live on in my heart but like samus is so fucking cool i mean we got metroid dread we got metroid prime remastered metroid prime 4 has got to come out at some point surely i kind of hope that it becomes just like fat like half-life 3 and they never release it because <laughs> it'll never live up to the hype anymore it caught it it it's got to just blow every game ever out of the water at this point to be yeah. worthy of its uh expectations really but i guess we're not worried about expectations because we've been talking about luigi carl so no one needs to have any expectations set you can just ride along in the shadows like luigi in the negative zone what's the thing it's like he gets no respect outside of the world in which he lives but inside the universe of like nintendo world he gets mm -hmm. the most respect like if you don't forget, if, you, if you do the codec call in brawl you get like roy campbell being like Look at that sickly skin living his brother's shadow too long. <laughs> Snake says, show some fucking respect. That's Luigi. You mean the king of second bananas? Hey, that's Luigi. Show him a little respect. But Carl, also bear in mind the when nintendo released the castlevania trailer they just murdered luigi like we saw luigi die and a ghost come out of his body that's fair yeah <laughs> they killed luigi at one point yeah but you know he can't die he, he did just make it back but the fact that they actually on screen murdered luigi at one point yeah they tried that with mario it didn't stick did it no, it didn't, no. Sephiroth just missed. <laughs> Thank you all for listening and joining us today. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. And Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> oh, God. Just Carl sending over Luigi does taking a fucking bong grip or something. <laughs> He's him putting the super scope in his mouth. Dear God, I guess I'll have to end with that image. Just oh, end no. it all, Luigi. It's cause all like there's like smoke around it. It looked at first. It's just he's taking a bong grip. Yeah, he's just putting his he's just putting the super scope in his mouth oh, and ending God. it all. He's, he's just doing it himself, dear God. But if you've enjoyed this video, you know, give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscribe, all that lovely jazz, and I hope everyone has a lovely day. I hope we have a better year than Luigi had. <laughs>